Well, you guys, summer is not over yet. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. We don't do a lot of videos anymore from Canada, and I know some of you are upset that we're not doing that. So today's vlog is coming straight to you from British Columbia, Kelowna, where I live. We're gonna go see billionaire Mike Hall at August Luxury Motor Cars. He has a new car that we've been looking for, and the 1998 Diablo SV. What is the fate of this car? Surprise, surprise, I'm not as rich to be able to just go and buy whatever I want whenever I want. So sometimes if we want a new car on the channel, we have to let a car go and this might be on the chopping block. So we're gonna put some fire into the engine of this beautiful V12 from 1982 and head over to August Luxury Motor Cars. brakes. That's one thing about this car that is a little sketchy, I'll admit. Doing the old Valentino Balboni backup trick. Door open. It looks funny and it would look like maybe that's not the most convenient way to do it, but it really is in these cars. Slide the door open, sit on the edge right here, put your butt here and just feather the throttle. It's the perfect way to back these cars up. So some of my favorite things about this car is it's just super easy to drive. It's not got a lot of power, obviously. You do have to be careful with the brakes because it is old technology, they're old steel brakes. This also has tires that are from probably, you know, somewhere around 1998 as well, period correct tires as they would call them. You know, the sleek design of this car, it just gets as much attention as any modern car. So whether you like that or don't like that, I just love the look of Lamborghini overall. The yellow, I think is classic Lamborghini. You know, it's not overly loud and that's kind of nice at times because I have an extremely loud SVJ as you guys know. So there's a lot of pluses to this car. I guess some of the downsides would be, you know, it's never going to be that fast. It does have older technology, so you can't really rip it that hard. You would have to start upgrading the brakes, going kind of like resto mod or updating this car. We've talked about that where we would put like modern ceramic brake upgrade on this car and obviously you'd have to put a different wheel, a bigger wheel on to do that and engine swapping this car because this car has high mileage and I got it for a pretty decent deal. Most of these Diablo SVs go for double what I paid for this car. Now, don't get me wrong, this is still a $300,000 car, so I've been hesitant to do anything with it at the moment, which is why I shipped it back home, just so I could have some fun cruising around town. Well, unfortunately, as you guys know, the manually gated V12 Lamborghinis are done, but what's really cool is even though this car is super, super old, the styling of this car, look how beautiful this car is. The lines, the roof scoops, the wing, the wheels, everything about this car is absolutely amazing even by today's standards in my opinion what do i do i'm kind of torn pulling at the heartstrings here we're at august luxury motor cars we got to go and see billionaire mike hall he does have a car that just came in and well it's gonna stay true to the lamborghini lineage i know that you guys love this car because well it helped really build the channel and we're back ladies and gentlemen Wow, no shortage of inventory. Spencer, are you selling any cars, Spencer? You just don't deliver them, apparently. <laughs> hey? No one delivers them. What the hell? <laughs> why has this all of a sudden become August luxury uh, storage? That's why you're here, thank God. <laughs> yes. I need you to take a car for me. Did it come in? It did. It did. It just came in today. What are the odds that when I go looking for this car again, it comes in a very close stone's throw of a spec from the one I had before? funny that you should say that. Have you seen this thing? Mm -hmm. It's pretty wild. He's got a guy on the car and They're I already told him, I was so. like, Damon gets first dibs on the car. He's like, it. what? You, know, you're not never... you ain't selling shit anyhow. Yeah. Pick one of the other goddamn cars in here, Spencer. Do you not deliver anything? <laughs> I tried it. Or do these guys just keep buying all the cars? Why don't even leave them here? What the it's hell? Okay. It's funny because you have like two or three guys that own like a good portion of like this whole row. Now, yeah, now that they bought them all, there's a bunch, there's a few Yeah, but they just leave them here. No, they just leave them here. What, yeah, do you, exactly. what do you charge for rent? Nothing. Nothing. That's stupid. That's a bad business plan. All jokes aside, uh, it's pretty cool though that at least if they're sold, they still get to hang out here because yeah, yeah. this is a big space. Oh yeah. Dude. Like if you guys had to actually fund all the cars on this floor. In this floor? You, the, these three cars right here would be five million. 
Yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah. I don't think you guys need to wonder. Hold on, before we go yeah. anywhere, I don't think you have to wonder too hard. What is the car that we're talking about? Well, it's a Lamborghini Huracan. The most modifiable, basically, I always nickname it the Honda Civica Supercars. Bulletproof. Bulletproof. It is a staple for the Daily Drone Exotics channel, and unfortunately, we don't have one. And I know you guys are probably asking, what happened to some of the other ones? Well, the Aperta got the windscreen put back on. It got sold. Dave's Twin Turbo Huracan, to be honest, had some issues. That car got sold. And now we're... Her Huracan. Huracan -less. Her Huracan -less. We've been here a few times already looking for a Huracan. Now, I guess the big question is, are all Huracans the same, although there are different models? And I'd be willing to say that they, they're pretty damn close. Like the perf, you mean, compared to? I just mean like underneath all of this, all of this fancy stuff, the Perfamonte is upgraded with some different materials for the interior, but for the most part, it's the same bloody car. Mm, suspension, I would say, is better. Well, yeah, I mean, but, but, but like incremental. Yeah, like for what you could do to a car. That's what I mean. Mean, like if you were to buy this or you were to buy a base for a con the only car that i think is a complete home run out of the park for completely changing this brand is the sto sto is nice yeah. because it's a full kit and there's things on the car that like it just doesn't do like it it's works. got the freaking cofango or whatever it's called 650 the whole front end i don't know that's the question because i'll even admit underneath all that fancy body work it's still a huracan uh -huh. it's the same trans same clutches same motor yes they squeeze a little more power out but it's because they know they've detuned the whole v10 anyhow it's like saying this is an f-150 it's an ecoboost it's not the same <laughs> it's not no but hold on in all fairness like it's a v10 it's a dct transmission you know if you're not gonna mod this then obviously buying a performante over like an lp610 yeah. for sure carbon fiber yes race inspired alcantara, alcantara blah 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 but if you're gonna actually mod the car like we do it's better to get something that's more i don't i'd hate to say it but like base model base model i put mike on the challenge of finding me a base model Huracan that we could go ahead and get the Super Trofeo Evo kit. What are we driving? What are we driving? <laughs> I love that meme. He found me a Huracan. Now, <laughs> this son of a <laughs> basically found me the same Huracan I had in the first place. Same Almost color. to a T. Yeah. You guys, could this be the brand new, yet a born again, daily driven exotics, Lamborghini Huracan LP580-2 in freaking Rosso Mars round two. This is just like my old car. Now, a couple of things that are different is doesn't have the glass engine bay cover, nope. which is fine because we do the kit, the whole kit goes on. Like, it replaces this, doesn't it? Dude, it replaces oh. everything except for the roof and the doors. Oh, really? Yes, Fenders like quarter panels, everything, everything but roof and doors. We'd have to upgrade the brakes because my old car had ceramic brakes. It's a deal breaker for me to have steel brakes. I could obviously drive this until we got them, but we got to go like as crazy as we've ever gone with a Huracan. We got to go to the moon on this one, you guys. Like we got to make it nuts. My own DD painted livery. It'll have obviously the roof scoop. The cool thing that a lot of people didn't do when they do the uh, Super Trofeo kit, if they do the Evo kit, for example, the roof scoop in their, on their cars is not functional. What we have is all the pieces to make the roof scoop on the kit that I have coming functional. Now, the question is, could we make the roof scoop functional and still tie it into a supercharger kit or maybe a twin turbo kit? I don't know what the power is gonna be yet. Maybe we do supercharger first because it's quick and easy and reliable. And then maybe we up the game somewhere down the road and go back for the full TT treatment. I don't know. Do we, do we, do we not? What Nitri do you think? Nitrous. Nitrous. Little you start throwing the NOS out there, you son of a <laughs> This is really cool. I can't believe you found this. And for a okay deal. Yeah. I'm not gonna say good because I bought this car five years ago for pretty much 15 grand less and what you're screwing me over for, but oh, yeah. let's just say the market went up a little bit. That's true though. And I had ceramics and everything. If I give it to you for what you paid for, 15 grand less, then you give me your SVJ for what you paid for. SVJ. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh my God, who drove this? So, so much short. Who is in here? Can we take it for a drive? Yeah, for sure. I'll grab a plate. Thank you, sir. Look at this, you guys. Behind the wheel of the new daily driven exotics. Should I say this? Mike, am I buying this thing? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Well, I guess there you guys have it. Brand new car on the channel. It's like new, but old, but new again. This is surreal to buy this spec. It's so close. So what's really cool is I have these exact silver wheels at home in black. I almost have all the stock wheels from all the cars because we always change the wheels. I have a stack of stock Lamborghini, McLaren, Ferrari wheels just sitting around between my house in California. They're all over, and even Richmond, we have a storage unit just down from Uncle Ray Ray because every time we took parts off the car, they'd pile up at his place. And he's like, what do you want me to do with them? So he got us a 
storage unit. So we got all sorts of stock parts all over the place. By the way, if you want to know where that Spencer joke thing comes from, that joke of like Spencer. Do you remember Jumanji the movie? Well, do you remember when um, Dwayne Johnson switches bodies? Yes. And he's like, Spencer, Spencer. I can't quite do it as well, but it's saying key not recognized. Already, are we gonna start like this? Are we really gonna start like this, you and me? I gotta hold it somewhere like this. There we go. Dude, first startup. Okay, what, what are we doing? We're going for a normal ride. Yes, because I haven't officially bought this. I know. Let's just go for a regular ride this time. Yeah, of course. Dude, looking at this thing, like, I'm impressed. It's really clean. It's clean. Whoever took, yeah. like, there's no crazy scuffing yeah. or or marks in here, like mine. <laughs> <You have to. laughs> like all of this not being scratched, like yeah. that black piano finish is still good. Everything is worn really nicely. There's no chips out of the steering wheel. The steering wheel looks freaking almost brand new, man. Who are the people who owned it, like age-wise? Like 50s. F oh yeah, 50, that makes sense. They care. They're not just burning money thinking that they're gonna make more of it tomorrow. No. Like some little punk crypto kid. <laughs> they traded in on a brand new Corvette. Oh yeah, definitely owns New Balance. How do you trade a Cor- how, What? Is that what I gotta look forward to in my 50s? Yeah, to travel. Trading this in for a Corvette? No. You love All my cars in for, for Corvette and a Camaro. Oh God. A Camaro. Just put me down. Let's go for a cruise. Oh yeah. Oh! Tire Slayer. I'm driving. 488. How is that? You loving that thing I or like what? I like that car, yeah. It's freaking amazing. So the air conditioning. Yes, it needs a, a little piece. No. What? It's because the mirror sensors aren't in it. The car thinks it's minus 20, so it won't let the condenser kick in because the sensors are removed, so the car is actually reading it's minus 20. That's stupid. Oh, what are we doing here? Steel brakes. Holy That's mother. a problem too. Yeah. Take that off the price. <laughs> Why is such a little? Because you're blasting at traffic. This guy. Yeah. I'll give it to you. That guy in front of us was, was stopped. stopped. Exactly. You were stopped. Yeah. We got a little close. A little close. A little close. I forgot that. The, see, I've never driven. I'm a sweating now. You I've, said I'm I've never driven a hurt car with steel sweating. brakes. Yes. Oh, you are sweaty. My my palms are sweating. So I gotta I gotta compensate for steel brakes now. So what do I owe you for this? One million. What? <laughs> Huracans went up a little. They went up. Dude, SVJs are still like, some cars came down because the market got flooded with them, but SVJs are still being asked like stupid money. Really? And they're asking, dude, they're asking like the same as an SVJ for the new Ultimate. I love how you're like, you're like, I'm already you're clenching up because I, I know you're, you're about to You don't know what I'm going to do, right? I, no, I know. So unpredictable. I know you are. silence for the uh, Mercy logo. There is a little ding on the bottom of that post and that is from the Mercy. this car well guys i think i don't know if, tires now. do you have all with new tires like i don't know if i don't know if i like this one if this is going to be a dd car we gotta officially seal the deal gotta say best car if you were to buy one supercar and you wanted to like know it's going to be reliable and fun and all that not only is it a lamborghini huracan honestly it would be a 580-2 you want to get the rear wheel drive because you can't 
around and do stuff like that in the LP610. The 610 is really good for someone who might hit the throttle and they get scared if it jerked out on them and, they, and the all-wheel drive would save them. You got to give it to this car. Look, look how perfect of a circle that is. Look at this. Dude, that's all the car. The control that you can have in that car. I guess the question is like, should I trade the Diablo for this? Or sure. should we just keep the Diablo? I have to trade something. I'm not made of money. And I can't keep taking it out of Dave's salary. <laughs> that thing's sick. Well, I would never get rid of that. Right? I know. You're not gonna be able to replace that car. So you know what I had put completely back to stock that I could bring back? How about a very limited edition Dodge Viper TA? A limited edition Viper? Take it. You take it? Go, it could sit out here with the other four. Nah, don't look like those Vipers. You know the one that we have. The drift one, yeah? No, it's all it's all stock again. Yeah, I know. Not drift. Was a drift one. Was. And the cool thing is everything short of the motor yeah. that was drifted on was replaced because we didn't drift on any of the stock parts. We drifted on like after Martin, like all of Dean's stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like the diff and all of that stuff. Like even the, even like the axles and like the brakes and everything was swapped. Really? Yeah, because it was changed from a six lug to a five lug conversion to fit his wheels so like everything on that car underneath short of the motor was different nothing was beat on so if someone wants to buy the viper ta it will likely be it. here at august luxury motor cars the money we have in that car is just shy of what we need for a down payment for this anyhow but you don't have to worry about that like you look rich this you're rich. rich billionaire the secret is that he really owns all of this and just funds the august family let's yeah. start that rumor yeah exactly. <laughs> well there you go brand new car brand new car do a handshake deal thank Sales you to be pissed <laughs> thank you by the way no problem buddy i really appreciate you finding that it's hard to find the car that's right for us i'm not a complete moron i would love to have enough money to not give two and buy that orange Performante over there just for the interior. Because that's all that would be left once I was done building it. <laughs> yeah. The interior, which is really, it's a beautiful interior. It's up, it's on another level. And um, people would probably be pissed if you destroyed a perfect Performante. It's not destroying. I don't know why you keep saying that. It's it's uh, it's tastefully modifying and then respectfully Taste. driven. <laughs> respectfully driven. That's why you should change the name of your company. Respectfully driven. Exotics. Exotics. RDE. Oh, respectfully geez. driven exotics. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Does I've Dave never know? I've never done this. No, Dave has no idea. I'm actually not even joking. Should we call him? Yeah, let's call him. Let's see if he'll answer his phone, first of all. I've never done this. We're, I've never actually come here and just on a whim done this. Because Mike was like, yeah, I got a car coming this weekend. You can check it out. It's a Huracan. I think it's the right the, the right car for the right price and everything based on today's market value. Let's go ahead and give Mr. Coulter a little FaceTime. A little FaceTime. Hope he's not naked. That would suck. <laughs> that would be funny. That would suck. Uh, hey. Oh Hey. I say, say hi. I was say, hope you're not naked. Oh, it's Mike. Are you naked? I'm thinking of me? No, no I'm, I'm just doing some paperwork right now. <laughs> oh, I see that. I see that. I, I, I bought a car. I bought a car. For real? Yes. For real? Do you, you want to see it? Yeah. You're not even going to believe this. Mike found this, by the way. It's almost short of brakes in the color of wheels, one to one. What? Oh, shit. Dude, it's so clean. And it has 42,000 K on it, but it runs perfect. I just took it for a nice, really respectful little test drive with Mike. He didn't yeah. scream at all. Oh, oh yeah, no, not at all. Not was, at all. Mike was Son freaking out pretty much the whole time. Crazy, man. The audience wanted a Huracan, is Huracan back. Yeah, it's a staple, we don't have one, and we're gonna build this one the way we said we were gonna build it because we I have that kit coming too. Perfect. So, big things oh. happening. Dude, look at this. Oh, sh is it a 580 or a 610? It's a 580. No, you're not. No, oh, it's 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 steel brakes. Uh, this, that's the one thing. It's got steel brakes, but we'll swap them. I took Mike for the old uh, classic, hey, we're buying a car drive. I gave him the old, uh, hey, we're just pulling into the, to the dealership and putting the car away. The 580 is back. Dude, this thing, I wasn't even looking at the steering wheel. I was looking at Mike the whole time I was doing these. I was like, why are you so nervous? Yeah, I had honestly no idea that I was going to come here and do all this. I was like, I'll bring the camera. I was honestly going to talk about trading the Diablo in. And then I was like, oh, I can't trade the Diablo in, so fuck it, we'll just take this out of Dave's salary. You better give my kids a starving. My kids are starving. It's not funny anymore. They need food. <laughs> they need shelter. They need, they need dental care. Shelter. You need new windows, apparently, at your house. Holy crap. I you can't. That's a whole nother vlog. We won't get into it, but dude, the people who built your house should be taken out into a field and shot. Okay, that might be a little excessive. Maybe they should just fix the house properly. Come on, Dave. Ready? It actually comes with the sport exhaust, just like my car did. I gotta go do paperwork. Well, I have the audience here. The Mercy Logo is done, and we may have changed the color, so stay tuned for that episode. You just know what you think it is, so. That's 
it's true. By the way, yeah, Mercy's done when we get back to LA. You guys will get a full reveal and it is not the color we lied to you about. Dave changed it behind your back, so it wasn't me. Like Say bye to Dave. I'm gonna go do the paperwork right now. Later, bro. Ketchup and mustard, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool to see the modern day Lamborghini lines that have been continued from way back in the day. <laughs> Disrespectful billionaire, Michael. He scares me, I don't trust him. A lot of vipers to hit right here. Could have drove into one. Or even worse, he spun out and drove into the 488. You're gonna pull a Dave and drive into the fence? I didn't look back here yet. My car had all the forged carbon. Yeah, this is the plastic carbon. This is the cheap. <laughs> it's all good. It's all, it's all gonna go away. Uh, it's everything we need. Everything else would have just came off it. Yeah, I know. So there's no sense of spending money on something that you're gonna just take apart anyways. You better spend money on something that's a little more base model. Your base model. Your base model. Your base model. What else new? What else is new in here? What else can you sell me? I'm on a hot. I'm on a hot streak right now. An R8. V10. Yeah, no thanks. What? It's not a personal thing. It's a great car. Well, then just, why did you say no thanks in that? With that. It's the same thing as a Huracan. I know. It's like That's stupid. Like... It'd be like same car, two different bodies. This would have been a beautiful car. I really like this, especially this orange. I love this orange. I've never bought a Lamborghini in orange yet, and it has to happen at some point. But it's a little bit more money than the other one. I know Dave's not here but i actually like this too how much is this that one's 359 that's actually not bad canadian that's not bad <gasps> dude this is nice yeah. does it have the starry roof yep. liner yep. dave would murder me if i actually got one of these although you said you had something else so show me okay just came in too why do you keep spending all my money what do you got what do you got what do you got what do you got what do you got? yes a lou not a loose up and the FF. FF. These things are cheap. Like, people are giving them away. Dude, oh, and it's got just a simple black interior. Black on black. Dude, the interiors in these, a lot, like 99% of the time, are kiddious. Kiddious? Kiddious, kiddious. Yeah. Nice metallic paint. Oh, and it's got, yes. Is that the moonroof? Full glass. It's not a moonroof. It's called a panoramic Panam roof. roof. You just call it a moonroof? Moon son roof. of I a call bitch. It, you can see the moon went night. Dude, the guys, <laughs> it's true, actually. I can't argue with that, but it's not called a moonroof. It's called a pano roof. Pano roof. This is really clean. Like simple, some black wheels. This thing would look good. I don't know why, but I have a thing where I don't love silver wheels. I like black. Yeah, I like black wheels. Once you go black. Whoa. What? Um, <laughs> Ferrari V12. The problem with this car is that I won't want to modify it and I'll just want to drive around like an old man because we're getting old. I'm oh, starting yeah. to love like this we're thing's not. all wheel drive V12. I just straight pipe it and away you go. Although I could go bananas and like, can you imagine a custom wide body kit? Wide body FF. Hey. Can I leave the Diablo here and take this for the weekend? Do you need it today? We have to do it today. Why? There's like 10 cars we gotta move in front of this. Oh yeah. One, two, there's three, not 10. Three, well, and then the, there's another two in front of the garage. No, and there's not. Your Huracan. How hard is it to move these? What do we gotta move? Well, we gotta move the worst one ever. What is that? The Lucra. Lucra. Brent, you crazy son of a... How is this? This is not street legal. Look, man, he's got it insured. I'm not even going to show the plate. <laughs> no. How? There's no way that this thing's street legal. And they bug everybody about... Oh, yeah, <laughs> there's no way. One, two... Can we push this? Push that? Three car? That's easy. And then the one in there. How hard is it going to be? Be able to take us a bit. You want to see how fast we can do it? Go. This car is light. Oh, there she is. I can take the Huracan. I get to drive the SV. That one's loud. That thing is sick. I'm such a pain in the ass sometimes. <laughs> Made him move all these cars so I could take the FF. See if I like it. Maybe we need to get another FF. Some cool things we could do with this car. It'd almost be like the Caravan GT. Less people, but you could still put four people in it and have a hell of a lot of fun. Oh, yes. Oh, that's right. Old school key. That sounds like when you unleash the straight pipes on this thing. Look how fast this motor revs. Okay, let me get this out of the way and help you pull the rest in. If I could just leave. No, you can. Canadian winter vehicle, all wheel drive, snow tires. Oh, yeah. Take exactly. the kid and the wife out. Big skirt, 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 skirt. Oh, All the yeah, time. Okay. You want to hear someone scream louder than Mike? My wife. She'd be like, David! 
Damn, that thing is loud. I forgot how loud that is. This is nice. I like this. Hey, what do you guys think? FF again on the channel? This is sick. All right, we gotta let Mike out here so he can close up the gates. Time to go home. Woo, she boogies. No gas, red. Did I remember the fuel? Did I get the right side? I, ah. I couldn't remember if it was on the right or the left. And I know, I know a lot of cars have the arrow, but this one doesn't have the arrow. Pretty freaking cool that Ferrari made a wagon-esque car. And it's all wheel drive and they put a freaking V12 in it. Everything you'd want. Let's chop this puppy up. What do you think this thing's gonna cost? I don't know how big the tank is. And we are finished, finito. The grand total is, whoa, $145.88. Uh, we're gonna want a receipt for that one because that, ladies and gentlemen, is a write-off. Well, it's a long receipt too. Well, I'm almost home. Time to find out what wifey thinks of the Ferrari FF. I don't know. Normally I can predict what she would think of a car, but this one's gonna throw her for a bit of a loop. Well, I was coming home to show the wife the new ride and she was out the whole time. What do you think? Park that thing and come check this out. What do you think? It's nice. Is this a Ferrari Lusso? No, it's an FF. It's the one before it. Okay. The Lusso is basically the same car. It just came after this. Okay. It just looks a little more modern. Yeah. But this is a lot cheaper for the same car, and the other one's a lot more like. It sounds like you're trying to sell me on getting this car. No, no. I want. I want. I, we drive it. Where's Dina? He's. Let's put him in the back. It's got back seats. Come on, let's go. She doesn't really drive any of the supercars, so I wanted to drive this thing. It's like a normal car. It's a lot of fun. V12, yeah. lots of power. Look at this guy. Hello, Mr. Puppy. You look awfully comfy. Dino, do you want to go for a ride in a Ferrari? Do you want to go for a ride in a Ferrari? Hey, I'll pick you up. I'll bring you in. I'll bring you in your little bed. Hey, Ferrari. Mr. Puppy, what's that? Ferrari. Sniff him. Sniff the audience. Come on, Dino. I feel like uh, concerned. Your chariot, my dear. You got all your switches on the side of the seat as usual. <laughs> and I need a booster seat. You can lift it up. Oh, oh. She never drives cars, so now let's just make sure we make it down the driveway. What? All right, Mrs. DD. Puts on the brake. Pull the right paddle. It'll put you in first gear. Okay. Hard right, hard right, hard right. Oh, God. You're fine. This thing has really good turning radius. I got, I'm 5'4 here and I can't see the end of the... Uh... The seat is all the way up, woman. <laughs> what do you think? New car for her? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how she does. She never drives the cars. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay. Accelerate up okay. to like three or 4,000 RPM. Where do, and then pull okay. the right paddle up to shift up. There okay. you go. There we go. Now, what's cool about these transmissions is that you don't have to shift down if you don't want to. If you slow, oh, there's a deer. Don't hit the deer. I'm not. Oh, it's testing you already, nature. Yeah, so if you don't want to shift down, you don't technically have to. If you slow down and it's going slow enough where the car knows that it should shift down, it'll shift down for you. But if you want to have fun, left is shift down, right is shift up. Okay. So for example, you can shift up again. Right now? Yep. Now, hit the left paddle to shift down. That's it. That's all you need to do. But you don't have to shift in this. You could just drive it. If in you really auto. wanted to, you could hit this button right here, which I forbid, and you could drive it in auto. Do you want to see what auto's like? Okay. Okay. Push auto. There. Dino, are you okay back there, my man? It's kind of cool though, hey? We can have a, a family Ferrari that we could bring Presley and Dino and we could all go out in this. Yeah. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha! 
thought I was driving on a run. Remember that time I redlined? Um, the Urus? Matt's, yeah. That was funny. What an experience. I've never been with my wife while driving in any form of an exotic car. Well, I was hoping that you'd fit this better, but you really don't. I don't. You're I'm too like short for it. I'm like this. Yeah. All right. Well, hey guys, it's fun. We got the first <laughs> trip with Mrs. DD and a Ferrari together. Ferrari. Ferrari. It might be fun to get this though for just for DD. I mean, if we drove it, I could drive you around in it. Be a chauffeur. Oh, look at that view. We have a great view. All right, we'll safely make it home. Smash the subscribe button, you guys. Thank you for watching this episode of Daily Driven Exotics. Do we go two for two? Two new cars today? We definitely got one in the bag, but stay tuned to find out. Do I get the FF? What? 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 You bought a car today? Oh, yeah. I bought a car today. Oops. Ooh.